Alrighty guys, what is up? Welcome to a new series with Lone Debater 7, and today we are going to be playing PC Building Simulator. That is right, PC Building Simulator, one of the uh, several simulator type games from the same company, the Irregular Corporation down here. Uh, they have a lot of really good ones. They do like um, Farming Simulator, they have House Flipper, I think they have car mechanic and motorcycle mechanic simulators. There's a bunch of different simulators made by this same company. It's pretty awesome. But this is the PC building simulator. I really like it for two main reasons. First, there's a free build that you get with the base game. Uh, you know, that's unlocked like immediately. You don't have to do anything to access this. And this would allow you to basically like simulate what a custom PC would look like. So let's say you know what parts you're thinking you want to use when you're building your PC, your gaming rig, or even if it's not a gaming rig, just building your computer in general. You can use the free build option here to have access to the entire library of parts uh, that the game has to offer. So you can literally pick out the exact parts that you're planning on using in your build and build it in this simulator, run benchmarks on it, uh, take a look and see you know, how it looks interior, on the interior, you can get lighting kind of set up and try out different things if you're on the fence about doing RGB or not. Um, so there's a lot of really cool options. It also is a good way, it does give you a price list. The thing I will note on that, the, price are, the prices of the components in this game are not super accurate as price, like component parts fluctuate in price in the real world, whereas they don't really in this game, so just bear that in mind. This is not like super accurate on pricing, but it will be accurate as far as are the parts going to fit together. It is great at telling you, yes, if you buy this motherboard, this processor, this RAM graphics card, cooler, and fans, and put it in this case, it'll all fit, so you don't have to worry about it, right? Um, so the game is great for that. I forget how much I spent for it, but I think it goes on sale sometimes for like 5 to $10, so like... If you're planning on building a computer or maybe building a couple, I would definitely recommend picking this game up just so you can sim like simulate designs prior to actually buying the components, just so you can make sure everything's going to work. Now, we're going to play the campaign uh, after that big, you know, hashtag ad for the free build uh, version of the game. Um, we're actually going to play the career mode of the game. And the reason why you want to do career mode, there's some specific tools and such that you get through the progression in the career mode that you can't actually access in the free build. So if you grind out enough levels in the career mode, you'll have access to the parts you might want to simulate, right? Uh, you'll have enough money to be able to buy them as well. And then you will also be able to use like the quick screw tool, the quick cable tool, stuff like that. So it is worth playing the career mode. Like if you have, if you play the career mode far enough, you'll have like a gigantic bank roll so you'll be able to build basically any computer you want at any time. So like that's kind of where we're planning on getting this series in the career mode. That way we can utilize that going for that save file going forward uh, for simulating PC builds just because it'll be quicker to put the things together. Um, but anyway, we're going to hit new game. Uh, yes, that's fine. So I only have the base game. There are DLC and such that unlock different workshops and different like scenarios and such like but i only have the base one we might consider getting the dlc later if there's a specific dlc that you are interested in or that you have found really enjoyable be sure to let me know down in the comments that way it'll help me make a better decision if i do decide to buy some of the dlc for this game as there are a lot of different options um but okay welcome to pc building simulator so it does have like a built-in tutorial to kind of get you started and show you how to do things but basically the computers you have will stack up right here when you go over to this door you leave for the day um so don't do that until you've done everything but basically if you right click uh it will pick up the computer left click to place it on the bench and basically, if you hover over it, it'll give you a general objective list for what you need to do. So we need to boot to OS and remove viruses. So the PC needs to be plugged in. We're in the cable mode to do that. You can hit it with the hot key num number three on your keyboard to select it like directly um, or a little bit faster than like moving down to click this little box. Uh, we want to go into install. Now you can click these buttons down here and that works just fine. Or you can push the hotkey. So like install is the one button. We're installing the USB drive is what we're doing. That way we can put in the virus scanner. 
Now the P button will turn on the power for the computer if you're zoomed in like this. You can also click the button there, or if the tower has a button, like on the front, I can click right here to turn the computer on and off. So as far as like simulation of how computers actually work, it's reasonably good on that, I would say. Um, like, you know, you follow a similar step when you're building a real PC. So if you're unsure, if you would like building computers, this game is a great opportunity to kind of give it a chance. And it's a lot of fun, too. There are, like, game aspects. So, like, you're trying to get this cash stack up, you're trying to get your levels up, and that will unlock more parts, uh, better, like, jobs. So initially, starting out, you're just going to get, like, virus scanning jobs and simple repair builds or repair stuff. Uh, but if we go over, I'm just going to check the email real quick. So check out Cloud Notes. I don't care about you. I don't really use that, but... So this is the person's computer we're working on, right? So my computer's running slow. I might've clicked on something. Do I have a virus? Remove viruses. We get a hundred bucks for labor. So this one's ready to go. We'll just throw it in. I just was double checking the email because sometimes there'll be things like, ooh, I want a specific color cable or whatever. Uh, when we get, when we come across one of those, we'll show it to you. But you get a copy of the email after you collect. We've got the hundred dollars. So when you put the PC in the, in this area over here, you have to hit the collect on the email in order to get paid for doing the work. So sometimes it's worth doing the ones that cost less. Like you accept all the missions, you do the ones that cost less to get enough cash to afford the parts you need for the like more complex ones or more expensive ones. Okay, that's just saying why we had a negative balance. But there we go, we'll pull up the shop thing. But basically we already did the one job for the day. There's nothing else in the email. Um, I typically turn off the lights uh, I leave these on that way I can leave the email and the shop open. Technically speaking, if you turn off your computer here as well, uh, your power bill. So you pay your utility bill on the 10th of every month in the game. Um, it will be lower if I was to power this off, but I'm not too worried about it. We should be fine. So we're ending the day. Continue end day. Cool. Go back, turn on our lights. Then we're just going to go into our email. Uh, so thanks again. Yeah, no probs, fam. Um, so this guy, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install 500 gigabytes? Okay. So at this one, we're basically installing a hard drive. So we'll go ahead and accept it. It takes a day after you hit accept for the computer to actually show up, which gives you time to go into the shop and buy the parts you need. So I know for this one, I need a 500 gigabyte hard drive, which there's one right here, $50, which is actually exactly the budget that we get on that. Um, before we actually order the parts though, I look at what else is in here to see, okay, is there another uh, part from the shop I need to buy? And it'll be fine if it arrives the next day because that's as soon as I'll get this. So I need a Sheen GeForce GTX 970 Gamer. Uh, actually, we can use the filter stuff for this, or we can just do 970. There we go. Um, add to cart. 265 is his budget. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll accept that one too. And then this guy is just a virus removal, clean out dust. Okay, cool. We'll do that. So we've got our cart right here. It's 345 right now. Okay, uh, choose your delivery. So you can do three to five working days. So some of the missions will give you like a longer time frame, so you can save the $20 on shipping. I generally either do next day or same day delivery, however, because the $20 for next day is typically worth it in my mind. I can get the stuff done a lot faster. Uh, same day is worth it if I have the computer in the shop and like I bought the wrong part or whatever. Like in certain cases, I'll do same day. Usually I try to do next day. I try to get all the parts off the emails before I even get the computers in that way. I can save the $70 on shipping. So it costs $345. We only have $85 in the bank right here. Yeah. Well, the way this game works, we can buy it anyway. So we're negative 260, you see right there. Megacorp Banking, valued customer. We know your life doesn't always run smoothly. So we provide you a free overdraft for all our customers. Your free overdraft limit is 1000 So we can overdraft it in an, like for this to buy the parts a day early. Uh, the 260 right there because it's within the thousand limit and then we'll get the parts the next day and literally after we finish one of the computers here we'll have 
rectify the negative balance. So like, uh, there's parts for delivery. Open that, 500 gigabytes, 970, we got our two parts. So this is the hard drive one, we'll go ahead and do this first. That's pretty, it should be pretty easy. Actually, I think on this case, the hard drive's on the back. Yep. So, I do I need to actually replace it or just like, let's double check. Okay, just more space. So like, I guess we could just replace it, but honestly, there's not necessarily a reason to do that because the hard drive they have is working. So like, cool. Go into cables, they're using loose plastic black. So I try to match the cables as best I can. Um, that way it doesn't like clash. Granted, you don't really see the hard drive cables except for where it connects to the motherboard sometimes and only for like a really small part usually. You can minimize it as well. Uh, but power that bad mama on. Um, I am gonna put on the USB drive just in case. Nope, we don't need it. So, or well, sometimes I like to put the virus scanner on and run it even when they don't ask for it. However, this guy is just a hard drive upgrade, so it should be fine. We'll do the graphics card repair, and then we'll do the other one as well. We'll just do all the missions and collect all the emails in one shot. Then we'll probably wrap up the episode there. But we'll pull out the graphics card. Pretty easy, pretty easy. We'll go in. So this is a broken one. So when you're replacing parts, you get if you replace them, you'll get the old part in your inventory. Now this one happens to be broken, so we can't use it. Now if it wasn't broken, we could potentially use it in another build. However, that typically makes customers upset, so I only really use the used parts um, in personal builds. Since that one's broken, you can click the sell button and you'll get some money for it for selling it. Even, even when they're broken, you'll get a little bit for it, so it's not too bad. We installed the new GPU, fantastic, and I think we need to cable these. Turn on the computer just to make sure it all works, which it should right out the box. Just a GPU, pretty simple, pretty simple. Um, throw this guy on, and now he's ready, place and delivery. We'll just double check on this particular one. Okay, yeah, just fried card. Sometimes they'll say like it's been running slow as well and that's an indicator that running a virus scan might help them. So that's when I'll try to do it. Because if you do something extra, sometimes there's hidden objectives on missions. So like, yeah, if you do that extra stuff, it's worth your time. But we'll go ahead and get everything cabled and kind of run through the boot cycle that it requires to install the virus scanner because you have to install it or it has to boot initially, you have to install it, then you have to restart, and then you actually have to run it. So go in, virus scanner, let this bar fill up, we'll hit yes on the restart. And cleaning out the PC doesn't take that long, so honestly it's not a big deal. Yes, we'll restart now. All right. This is gonna do a really large chunk of the case. Yeah, see. So it doesn't take that long. And the scanner doesn't take that long either, but start scanning. Should have this pretty much done. Yep, looks good. Put on the side. And we'll clean it right after we finish tightening it, tightening these screws. Because if you stop uh, midway through doing something, it undoes whatever progress you made on it. So there we go. He is now good to go, clean PC, and, uh, and you know, physically and internally. So here we go, we can collect all of them. So we're at negative 252. After this, oh look, we're positive 78. So in reality, we spent <clears throat> like $3 to do that mission is what we really spent because we had 85 the day prior, right? So, okay, cool, easy enough. This one, 525, all profit. This one, hundred only a hundred because it's pretty simple, but all profit as well. So we sit at seven oh three, which is pretty good going into day three. I would say uh, we can afford most everything in the shop. But since we hit level two, uh, we unlock a bunch of parts. And also, when you do missions, 
uh, you will also sometimes unlock parts when you do that. So just bear that in mind, it is good doing it. But we unlock the auto connect tool in the shop. So like if we go over to the shop, down to tools and software, clear out the text filter that I had. Um, this will show you some of the extra software and stuff you can buy. So like for some of the missions, you're gonna need will it run? We don't need that yet. So I'm gonna wait on that until we actually get the email because we can buy it when we buy parts. Um, but the auto connect tool is pretty great because basically what this does is whenever you finish like putting in parts all the way in the computer, it automatically connects like the power cable, the mouse, the graphics card and stuff like that to your monitor. So it saves a lot of time when you're doing the like repair missions. Uh, or if you're just building a computer, this saves a lot of time because it means you don't have to connect four additional cables. Uh, so for a thousand dollars, that's worth it. That's probably the first one we're gonna get. Eventually we will unlock the quick screw tool is another pretty good one. Quick cable tool is pretty good. Uh, auto standoff is pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of different stuff in here. So this is why you want to play the career because look at the price tags on some of these. Like auto cable tool, 10,000. Um, yeah, so like it costs a little bit. But if you have that and you're built and you just want to like test something real quick outside of like maybe loading up the game initially, it's going to go pretty quickly. I would say, as far as putting the computer together is concerned or doing the work is concerned. But we're going to end the day here. Um, we'll hit go to work and we'll check our email. We'll get our missions uh, just so we can take a look before we wrap up. But uh, let's see. So this guy needs viruses removed. That's easy enough. Go for it, friend. It's not working. It's getting hot, running slower. Uh, I can't hear the fan. It lives on the floor. Replace air cooler and clean out the dust. Okay, so I need to get more Tony Thermal 100 CPU cooling. I, I mean, I could hook him up. What's the budget? Is only $10, though, so, like, it's enough to buy a replacement, and that's it. So, all right, fine. Go ahead, bring it in, and then clean out dust. That's easy enough. Then this guy wants 16 gigs of RAM. Um... Yeah, we're going to pop that one out. Um, I believe this one can go up to 24. What's the budget on this? 140. So we'll grab two eights at 70 a piece. Should work. So I think we'll go with the red. And it should, that motherboard is compatible with 2400. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Cool. Um, this guy wants 8 gigs of RAM. And he's got a 4 gig of Sheen plastic white cables as well so bear that in mind but we'll just buy some sheen 8 gig ram or we can get this dfl uh might work he has a hundred dollar budget though so we could hook him up with like a signif like a good piece of ram like how good is this 2133 i guess it's it's decent we have 40 dollars a headroom though so like we could hook him up with a faster speed ram uh, he likes white cables, so we'll maybe go with a silver-colored RAM. Okay, cool. And we're going to set all this for next day. Costs us $30 to do that, but that's okay. We can afford the total of 260 just outright in cash, so we'll buy all of our parts, which is two 8-gigabyte sticks for one guy, one 8-gigabyte stick for another, and then one CPU cooler for the last. So hit by now just so it's done and I don't have to remember to do it. But I think we will wrap up the episode here for today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think and if you have played PC Building Simulator and what your experiences have been. Um, and if there's a specific build you want to see me do at some point, uh, drop that now or in one of the episodes comment channels. That way um, when we get to the bankroll to be able to build a computer, we can maybe vote on some of the builds people suggest or want to see um but anyway guys this has been lone debater 7 playing pc building simulator and until next time we will see ya